Pastor Ken Williams, thank you for being with us and sitting with us today. <laughs> it's my pleasure. I wouldn't want to be anywhere else. So oh. Thank you. So you are a former homosexual and now co-founder uh, of both Equip to Love and the Changed Movement. Mm -hmm. uh, you serve Moral Revolution as lecturer and minister mm -hmm. and a pastor at Bethel Reading since 2006. Yes. So could you help us understand mm -hmm. uh, the difference between what Changed uh, Movement and the mm -hmm. Moral Revolution offer to the world right now? Um, yeah, so Moral Revolution is a ministry uh, attached to it's separate but it's it's located um in redding california where bethel church is located and it's just focused on it so chris valentin who actually founded more revolution he is one of the senior leaders of bethel church so there's a lot there's cousins wow. and but more revolution is specifically focused on uh morality sexuality issues of life you know the abortion issue you know things like that mm -hmm. um but going back seven or eight years ago, there were a few of us, so Elizabeth Wanning, my co-director, and I have the passion specifically for helping people that are struggling with their sexual identity. So mm -hmm. am I lesbian, gay, bisexual, etc. Et yeah. And um, turns out that with everything that's happening in culture, we needed to be even more focused on that subset of the issue. Mm -hmm. And so um, change movement has arisen out of more revolution to specifically be focusing on these issues of who who am I sexually? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. And so um, you're touching on that, but what makes your heart come mm -hmm. alive, Ken? And mm -hmm. what is the ache in your heart for this generation? Mm. Identity. I think this generation is very confused and doesn't even know where to go to find out who they really are. You know, I, I mean, I feel like so many are trying to find themselves on Instagram, right? Mm -hmm. And and in the comparison of who they think they are compared to what they see right. they're sh they should be or could be. Mm -hmm. And you know, for those of us who have found ourselves amid an LGBTQ struggle, you realize it didn't come from Instagram, it didn't come externally. Right. It, it, it came from becoming very desperate to even know how to survive and finding Jesus in the right in that place, like as the only real solution, mm -hmm. and and that is such a gift. It's a, it at the in the moment it's a curse and it's daunting and foreboding, but when the Lord breaks in to those deepest broken places, mm -hmm. those deepest insecurities, healing explodes, mm -hmm. and and now. I can walk from that place of deep insecurity into, no, I, I may not matter to anybody else, but I matter to him. Yes. And he paid all the price for me. Yes. Not just to get rid of my sins and yes. their effect on me, but that I would know who I am, mm -hmm. that I would have peace, mm -hmm. an, an abiding sense of righteousness, peace, and joy. Mm -hmm. So that's a long answer, wow. but I want the whole world to, to have access to that. Wow. If they don't want it, that's their choice. Right. But I want every person to have access to that kind of solidarity yeah. of identity and knowing who they are in Christ. Mm. Yeah. And I think out of this passion, your book was born, The Journey yeah. Out. Yes. Uh, could you tell us a little bit about the approach in this book towards mm -hmm. uh, resolving some of these sexuality and gender issues? Um, and uh, yeah, yeah. Could you just yeah. share it with sure. us? Sure. Uh, well, it's pretty simple. When I was 17 and suicidal over my sexual struggle, I snuck into the Christian bookstore. I kind of had a, a disguise on, you know, because if anybody saw me in 1989 looking for a book on homosexuality, that then your 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 life is over. Uh, I couldn't find a single resource that offered me any hope in the yeah. Christian bookstore, mm. and so I wrote the book mm -hmm. that I needed back then. Wow! So wow. really, it's uh, it's my testimony. Uh, you know, expanded. And it's also the testimony, though, of 14 of my friends. And, and so it's not just one testimony mm, of the so Lord good. addressing this issue. And it's really just the discipleship model that I know in hindsight, I can see how did the Lord bring healing and restoration to me? Right. It was a, a really a six point discipleship model that the Lord kind of downloaded or sh showed me seven or eight, nine years ago. Oh. And so it's the testimony, but it's also uh, highlighting what is that discipleship path that he used for me that he might want to use with you. So good. Yeah. So it really is 
the journey out, the Ken Williams model, yeah, like yeah, the unique model. Yeah, I, think it is, yeah. I love it. Yeah. Wow. And what are some of the victories that come to mind from the last few years of ministry mm -hmm. to uh, the ex LGBT men and women, uh, but also perhaps in your advocacy? What what stands mm -hmm. out? Mm. The Lord's doing so many things just keep getting worse, you know, in so many ways in culture. It's like, ah, we're culture struggling more and more. And yet the Lord is doing more and more. Mm -hmm. And so I'm seeing both for sure. But, yeah. you know, just the Lord uh, partnering with us on our advocacy against uh, the bill in California that would have made our ministry, most aspects of our ministry right. and so many other ministries yes. illegal in yes. California. Yes. Called, uh, called me a fraud, you know, basically. Mm -hmm. It wasn't pointed just mm -hmm. at me, but anybody that was asserting mm -hmm. that they had experienced any change toward heterosexuality sure. uh, was considered consumer fraud to say that. So the Lord having moved upon the heart of the bill's sponsor, who is a, a gay identified man himself and a member of the Congress in California withdrawing the bill at the 11th hour Come the on. morning of that was going to be signed into law, you know, things like that. So, I mean, we have seen the Lord break through in ways yeah. like that. Yeah. Um, you know, just I, I'm watching members of our t of our staff, you know, that, that this is their journey as well. Um, start to experience. Wow. Uh, so I do have a little spark for her and I've never had a spark like that before. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. we, we see some things like that or so I'm not walking in the condemnation and shame, you know, mm -hmm. that I was. So mm -hmm. I, 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 uh, I'm not saying staff members, although I'm sure it has happened, but you know, I've, I've been out, I'm pouring, pouring again when I hadn't done that in a long time, but I'm not shaming myself. You know, I ask the Lord's forgiveness. I'm confessing it to, to you guys, mm -hmm. but I, I don't hate myself over it. Mm -hmm. You know, we, we see things like that. Yeah. Um, we see inner healing prayer moments where, mm -hmm. you know, I mean, one that happened to me, um, uh, a number of years ago, so after I already experienced so much healing, and uh, I was actually getting prayer for something else. Um, for, I was concerned about a family member that I was getting prayer for, and all of a sudden I find myself back in a moment in my childhood mm -hmm. where I had been shown pornography, uh, Playgirl and Playboy magazines at the same time with a group of kids. And everyone was looking at both of them, but while I happened to be looking at the Playgirl for the moment, this uh, tomboy girl uh, says, oh, so you like looking at the, uh, at the men. And I remember, I mean, I just, in that moment, I remembered, oh my gosh, that's, that's the moment I started to feel like there was something wrong with me, right. with my identity. Yeah. I'm not an acceptable male somehow, because mm -hmm. she's saying something's wrong with me. Mm -hmm. and, and so the, the uh, man who's a counselor that was working with me, he said, well, ask, ask the Lord what he says about what happened right there wow. about is that how the lord feels about you did did the did he feel that something was terrible about your identity yeah. and and I, I heard just in my in my mind i just heard this was never you huh. it was never you huh. and it's so i mean i started sobbing i mean it's just my own story i mean we see this other people but yeah. the enemy told me who I was, lied mm. to me in a very cr critical, vulnerable, vulnerable. moment. Yes. Mm -hmm. And that carried out through. So now I saw the rest of my world from, from eight or nine years old through a different lens. Wow. And think about how differently that would cause your, you point, to be. Absolutely. Yes. yes. So we see that with, with people. They have, they, the Lord steps in, whether it's through a therapist or through just like a prayer ministry with someone and, and reveals to them, hey, this thing that you thought was true about yourself, maybe not. Yes. Maybe you're who I say you are and this is who I say you are. Come on. And come, getting free from those moments um, and being able to see them through a, a more godly lens transforms us. Hallelujah. Tearing down the lies. We love it. <laughs> and what message would you like to leave IFTCC learning um, trainees with today? Mm. <sighs> Most of us don't believe that we're new creations in Christ, or we don't know what that means. Okay. And I think that one of the blessings that's going to come upon the world in this season of time is going to be those of us who have been the most broken in our sexual identities. So the, the, those that the Lord is bringing out of LGBTQ life mm -hmm. have had no choice but to, to, but to really focus on who am I 
and how do I know who I am? And so the, some of that group, the Lord is giving great revelation. And the blessing of that is when you've grappled with it that hard, I mean, the Lord meets, he meets you there and if you're looking to him for help. And so the reality is there's a bunch of promises in scripture on the fact that, you know, in 2 Corinthians 5, it's like, uh, we, we no longer regard anybody according to the flesh mm-hmm. and talks about you, yeah. you, you are no, you know, um, you're a new creation in Christ Jesus. All the old things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new for you. Did you know that that word new there, it doesn't just mean like, oh, it's kind of, you know, it's a new thing. No, it means novel. It means never conceived of before. Come on. Who you are yeah. is completely separate from who you were yesterday, 10 years ago, the child that got raped, you know, the, the one who, who acted out a million times homosexually, wh- whatever. I have access through Jesus to be a completely brand new person. Amen. Very reflective, actually. I mean, it sounds, uh, it sounds blasphemous, but we're not him. We are not God, but we are a lot like him. He made us in his image, yeah. in his likeness. And I think, um, I think culture, even Christians have been duped into believing I'm just a sinner. Like, no, I was a sinner. Yes. I was saved by his grace, mm-hmm. by his blood. Mm-hmm. And if you believe Romans 6, then he says, you are no longer a sinner. Mm-hmm. You are no longer a slave to sin. Now, can I sin? I can. I have. Mm-hmm. But my identity has been changed. And who I believe that I am has everything to do with who I will feel that I am and how I'll behave. Absolutely. And so that's, I believe that that's the Lord's heart is on that. And I, I, that's what I want those you know, who are receiving this you know, from IFTC yes. right now yeah. to consider what is offered through the gospel. Through, yeah. What does Jesus offer this people group by fully appropriating the fact that we must reckon ourselves, Romans 6, 11, must reckon ourselves, think about it, meditate on it, dead to sin and alive unto Christ. What does that offer us? That is such a strong message. Um, you know, that regeneration is something that is unique yes. to the Christian faith. Yes. So you're onto something <laughs> solid there. So thank you. Yeah. That is a top tip. Thank you for being with us today, Pastor Ken. And God bless you richly in your ministry. Thank you. Appreciate it, Matthew. <laughs>